What's up guys? Well, I got hired to play an event. Many years ago when I came to Sarasota, Florida, I met this nice agent. Jay Goodley was his name, or is, I'm sorry, is his name. And he worked with another guy called Fitz. Jay Goodley sold his company to Fitz and it's called Goodley Entertainment. And he's like the most professional guy I know in all Sarasota. He got me this event and it's an incredible freaking place. Every detail of this place is beautiful flowers by the windows and a fireplace made out of shells. It should be called more like the golf cart paradise, but it's called Gaspari Lane. I'm looking forward to come back to this place because it's amazing. That, my friends, is what I like to call a VIP event. And let me tell you, let me tell you a couple of reasons why. The staff was so friendly, the location was super cool. They showed me three possible locations for me to set up. This is very rare. Oftentimes, 
It's the other way around. I have to chase around the event planner or event organizer for them to tell me where I'm playing. And oftentimes the area isn't ready. There's furniture or no power. In this instance, this person set up uh, an extension cord for me. The guests in the party were complimenting me for my music and giving me the thumbs up. I was offered to have all whatever I wanted to eat. And this was a Cinco de Mayo event. The chef was uh, Mexican and he put together like 20 authentic dishes and trust me I tried them and I can say that they were very authentic they were incredibly delicious and I wish it was Cinco de Mayo every day and I wish he was my best friend and I wish he lived in my house with my family cook for us the very next day of playing that event I got a call from my agent telling me that they booked me again for next year. I'm thankful to have these kind of events. A couple of facts about Cinco de Mayo. It's an American holiday more than a Mexican holiday. We don't really celebrate um, on that day. We remember that we won a battle against France, but we don't make a big party where we get wasted and then wear fake mustaches, ride donkeys, shake the maracas, wear the sombrero. It's fine to celebrate the Mexican culture. This is a compliment but there are tasteful ways to do it. Like these people at this event that I was talking about. They, they, they did it right. That was very tasteful. That was very good. Thank you guys. Sometimes the area they give me isn't even set up. It's like full of furniture. So I have to move chairs and, and uh, couches and stuff. So whenever... That event was what I like to call a VIP event. Yeah, when you film outdoors, you have to watch the clouds and there's a cloud happening right now, so it's going to get dark. If it's not clouds, it's airplanes. So I have to wait until I can talk to the camera, even though I'm talking right now. Because I'm probably going to use this footage for the very end of the video in the blooper section. There goes the cloud. Goodbye, light.